and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got quite a few things to go over. First, we got some more Mutt League animations. So yesterday was the Motivators Potential, Potential Motivators promo. But this time around, we got a few new pack animations that do kind of hint at a future promo or two future promos that is one being the team of the year promo and one being i believe the playoff promo the playoff promo will be the following promo after the whole new year's december stuff that's typically the next promo that comes out playoffs which is sometime in january so well it ends in about february i think it starts like late january i'm pretty sure or mid january but quite a lot of things to go over and we also got these signature series cards we do have two signature series cards one's actually pretty cool looking one's a big name so definitely gonna be excited to go over all those stats and then cover all the pack animations quite a few things to go over but before we get into the video guys as you do know it is the 25 days of pudmas to enter the 25 days of pudmas all you gotta do is go down below hit that subscribe button turn on that noti bell no the noti bell is optional to hit that subscribe button like the video and comment down below the secret word and your console now let's pick a winner from yesterday i have it pulled already so let's see it is i believe it is bridget nash bridget nash you have won the giveaway from yesterday uh you commented down below gingerbread you did all the required things so congratulations you did win from yesterday so hit me up on twitter go down below twitter link should be in the description get that done and for the new winner or should i say the new entries today make sure you go on every video and enter like i said subscribe like comment your console and your Secret word, that's about it. So let's head on over to Twitter to go check out the pack animations and then check out some of the signature series cards. All right, so we're over on Mutt Leaks. As you guys can see, let's go check this out. Let me turn the volume off so it doesn't get interfere. So this is the playoff animation. Looks like playoff tier one. So it's like a low playoff card. Obviously, it's showing us silver cards only because that is kind of how it always just reveals. It reveals as a silver because they're just getting the animation. They're not really showing you a card. So this is playoff tier two. So playoff tier two is like if you pull a high playoff card, it is glitching out quite a bit. I don't know why it does this whenever I click on things. So playoff tier one is right here. This is the first one. This is playoff tier two. I'll let you guys just watch from right here because it was glitching out a little bit. Let's start this video over. And let's check this out. So, all right, so let's see playoff tier two right down here. Let's click onto it. As you guys can see, it does get a little bit bigger and a little bit of a bigger shine when it is playoff tier two. So playoff tier one is more so like your lower like 70s and 80 overall cards. It looks like tier two is going to be like your higher 80s. I don't think this is going to be their final tier like the 90 overall cards. Now let's get a look at the team of the year pack reveal. So this is like if you pulled a team of the year card, those typically the gold and yellow cards. As you guys can see, that looks actually really cool. That is a really cool animation right there. One of the best, honestly, one of the best animations I think I've seen in Madden in quite a while. And that one was definitely really cool. Let's watch that again. This is tier one. So I'm guessing this is one of the lower team of the year cards. Probably like the 94, 93s. Like, oh, what do they start at? 94, 95s? Probably those. Now let's check out the tier two, which is going to be some of the higher overall ones. That's even cool. That 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 adds the little background display there if you guys look closely. It gives you guys that little like the background breaks a little bit. That's kind of the difference between the two. So that is pretty cool. So at least we know Team of the Year is confirmed. We always knew it was confirmed though. But a little cool to just know that that is coming. And then obviously playoffs tiers, that always comes also. But I think I did cover up the animation. So that does pretty much just confirm that playoffs and Team of the Year are probably next to promos after Zero Chill. And series four. Probably next to the next we'll probably get like series five playoff promo and team of the year all around the same time going into january and february but let's head on over to the rest of the signature series card and show you guys all those so the first signature series card is juju smith schuster this is actually a really cool one considering he's a big name didn't have the best year this year but that is for there's multiple reasons why i cannot attribute this to him at all when he when he got the ball he did make plays but mason rudolph was kind of a dumpster fire ben roethlisberger not for a year Le'Veon bell left james connor has been hurt everyone's been hurt on their team juju's been a little banged up Ben Roethlisberger obviously went out. Mason Rudolph is not was not a good replacement. He played horrible. They do have Duck, uh, was it Duck Hodges or whatever now? He's playing okay, but you cannot attribute losing the guy who you know when you have that chemistry with the quarterback. Like Juju Smith started his career with Ben Roethlisberger. That was his chemistry. It really throws it off when you get a new quarterback. And Mason Rudolph played horrible. It was a dumpster fire for a few weeks. So Juju Smith did not have the best year, but he's still a great overall talent. Hopefully next year with Big Ben back, they can go back to their for, uh, prior form. So as much as they can without AB and Le'Veon Bell. But he is LTD, he can be powered up, which is great. 93 overall. So his card can get pretty good. He's six foot one, 90 speed, so 90 speed solid, 92 jumping, amazing, 93 catching, amazing, 93 catch traffic, and 93 spec catch. So he has great catching all around the board. 85 short route running, 85 medium route running, and 84 deep route running. I feel like he's a pretty decent route runner in real life. I don't know why they always like downgrade his route running in Madden. But he probably also has a pretty good juke and spin. He is known to make big plays and really after the catch make things happen. So I feel like his, his juke spin 
Maybe his Excel is probably up there too. Now, powered up and chemmed up. You can probably get this card to like a 94, 95 overall. Now, he probably get like, wow, powered up and chemmed up. You could probably get his catching traffic to like a 96, 97. His spec catch to like a 96. Catching to like a 95, 94, depending. And his deep route running, you'll probably get that's like an 87. His medium and short, probably like 86 is 87, depending on what you put on him. So his card's looking really, really solid. You can get his catching like crazy high 90s with great speed. You put, if you put Sprinter on him and you power him up with John Madden Athleticism, you're getting him up to a 94 speed. That is really, really good for a Juju Smith-Schuster card. I wish I would've given him like a 91 or 92 speed. He is pretty fast for life, but I'll definitely take that. Now let's head on over to the next card, which I believe is, I can't say his name, Ben Eric or something like that. We'll, we'll get to that point. But Juju Smith, really good drop. I'm kind of excited for this card. Wanna be one of the better, wanna be better wide receivers in Madden 20 so far. His price will probably be high. Like I always tell you guys, signature series cards are not too crazy priced unless their stats are good. When they are good, they're going to be hot there. Well, you know when they're not great, they're going to be in the 300 400k range. But let's head on over to the next card. The good word for today's video is going to be Christmas tree. I, we probably used that one before, guys, but I got I to gotta keep reusing some because I have run out of Christmas words. Probably have to look up a list pretty soon on that. But all you got to do to enter the giveaway today for the 25 Days of Poop Miss is go down below, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below the secret word Christmas tree and comment your system once you all listen to our entrance win good luck now let's get back to the video so heading on over to mudhead to go show you guys this new card right here he was not up on madden as per usual they do take a while to get pulled and i don't know how many people actually pull tons of packs for them but benardrick mckinney i hope i'm saying that right benardrick benardrick mckinney middle linebacker for the houston texans i do not believe he has a power-up card so i don't i don't think at least we'll check that after the video actually let's check that real quick first because i like to know that when i take that in when i factor in stats it's always nice to know he does not have a power up card so he cannot be powered up so we have to limit the actual potential he can have on this card now he's an 85 speed decent that's not great i mean there's guys like devin white and other cards that definitely have better speed and athleticism but if the other stats are good at can make up for it he's 85 speed 88 excel solid excel 81 agility kind of low 78 strength kind of low 91 jumping is solid 96 awareness is amazing and 96 play rec is amazing so those stats are really good 90 block shots insane 96 pursuits great 93 tackles great and 93 hit power now his power move and finesse move aren't great but i don't really care about that and then zone he does not have a great zone with 67 his catch is a 55 he can he is 90 all around the linebacker spots outside linebacker right outside of middle now as a whole this card is weird so 85 speed is a little bit low but if i compare him to let's say like a ray lewis let me head on over to my screen real quick and look at ray lewis to see kind of like what the stat comparisons are because i do see a lot of high green stats in this mckinney to where he kind of seems pretty good so we head over to ray lewis and compare so ray lewis has 88 speed 90 excel so definitely more athletic now let's see the play rec ray lewis has a 95 play rec well that's just that's chemmed up base he has like a 94 93 so better play rec on here the awareness is going to be i believe better right what's the awareness on this card now 93 awareness awareness is better now block shed is 90 so same thing or this is obviously powered up now let's see what pursuits looking like because that pursuit's definitely great i think pursuit yeah pursuit's definitely better i'm not even gonna check it 93 tackle 93 power so this card is very similar to ray lewis now if he could be powered up he'd be very very close to ray lewis but i think i'll still stick with ray lewis they have the same type of builders while i'm comparing him to him what's his height he's six foot four though okay so he is massive. He's really tall, which actually is a big upgrade over Ray at height wise, because Ray's only six foot one. So this card isn't bad at all. 91 jumping, six foot four frame. He's gonna be really good at user picks. But so when it comes to Ray, same block shit, same pursuit, same tackle, same hit power, all the same. Slightly less athletic, better play rec by a little bit. They're almost the identical cards. Ben Erdrick and Ray Lewis are almost the same card. The only thing that would make a difference if you could power up McKinney, he might actually end up being better than Ray, or at least identical in most aspects, such as speed. Now he has yes to high motor, yes to defensive line spin move yes to bull rush and yes to big hitter no ships ball penalty normal if everyone wraps up that let's head on over back to the madden screen to close up this video and i was checking out ray lewis ray lewis is a very fair comparison he's obviously powered up and chemmed up base ray lewis is going to be very similar to mckinney it's going to be a very close 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 comparison so it comes down to would you rather the six foot four height with better jumping for slightly less speed and athleticism now that does help from a user standpoint where the speed gets made up for by that but like when it comes to run plays and stuff he's gonna have a trouble getting around the edge or meeting running backs at the, at the at the edge in general so i don't think i'd honestly make the upgrade from or downgrade myself from ray lewis and mckinney i think i'd rather just stick with ray lewis especially because mckinney probably won't get many more upgrades in comparison to ray and ray is definitely cheaper because mckinney is a signature series he's probably not up on the block although i will go check for a second but i doubt it. he's never really up on this time so 
that is about it for the video guys thank you so much for watching i hope you guys did enjoy the pack animations the team of the year sort of sneak peek as well as the playoff sneak peek pretty cool to see we're not gonna have that for quite a while but it was still cool to have and yeah i don't believe they're up although you gotta go by newest because they're not gonna be the cheapest options nope none of them are up here guys so that is about it for the video Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to enter the 25 days of food miss. All you gotta do is subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment down below the secret word and your console. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.